Hello, my name's Jason Kennedy and I'm here on behalf of Hi-Fi Plus magazine. I'm here today to tell you about this loudspeaker which is a PMC 2526i. This loudspeaker, which is a PMC 2526i, which makes it the largest model in the so-called 25i range. But there's, um, there are two vents at the bottom of the front here, which are produce bass, uh, which originates from the um, behind the bass driver, and it's goes through quite an elaborate transmission line uh, which is specially damped and comes out here in phase with the base from the driver effectively reinforcing it. That's completely different to a reflex loaded loudspeaker where the sound from the port is not in phase with the base drive with the driver so it's not coming up at the same time um, and this is ostensibly there to allow the drive unit to move freely and makes the speaker more efficient. With the transmission line, uh, the line is designed to absorb uh, high frequencies and only to let very low frequencies come out of the vent at the front and that uh, typically gives you cleaner bass than a ported design but uh, there are many excellent ported designs which give equally clean bass. The distinguishing feature of the 26i is that it has a mid-range dome. Um, it's the only one in, this, in that range, the only model in the range that has a dome. Uh, this is a 15 millimeter dome and is very similar to the one found on the PMC FAC12 and on the larger SE series and Pro models the company makes. Um, it's allied to a G-Weave uh, base driver which is a long throw type so it can um, deliver a lot of power and the tweeter is um, what they call, it has a roll surround which makes it larger. The tweeter has a 19 millimeter central dome which is surrounded by a roll surround so again it gives it high power handling but also wide dispersion. PMC are very keen on wide dispersion, it's one of their main selling points I guess, it's one of the things they uh, try to achieve with all their loudspeakers. The real benefit of, um, of wide dispersion is that the sound that reflects off the walls, either side of the loudspeaker and around the ceiling and the room as a whole, has the same tonal balance as the sound that comes directly from the drivers. So while you hear the direct sound first, you hear the reflected sound very soon after and if the two of these are different totally it uh, is a less clean, less revealing and uh, less well timed uh, result overall. What uh, makes this model and the other floor stander in the 25i range stand out is that it incorporates isolation into its support system. While there are spikes fixed to the, the bars that go across the bottom of the speaker, there's an isolation system in between the bars and the cabinet. It consists of a small sort of rubber grommet, which um, PMC selected specially because it uh, provides isolation at a critical point, basically in the mid-range and that um, allows the mid-range to be cleaner 
and more revealing in theory. Um, spikes don't isolate as such. Um, they essentially they do the opposite. If you spike a loudspeaker into the floor, it uh, is a bit like nailing the speaker to the floor, and um, this means that the energy from the speaker can travel straight down into the floor and across the room and into the system and into the other loudspeaker. Um, and PMC are one of the few companies that have actually used um, Townsend seismic bases to isolate their larger loudspeakers at shows. And they clearly understand that um, good isolation is highly beneficial. The point is that um, if you spike the speaker into the floor and the energy from the speaker goes into the floor, it goes to the other loudspeaker and vice versa. Both loudspeakers are channeling energy into the floor and it's going to the other loudspeaker and getting into the loudspeaker and shaking the cabinet. And although this is only on a very sort of small scale, if you can reduce the amount of energy that comes in and out of the cabinet into the floor, you get a obviously cleaner and more revealing result. So this is why um, the team at PMC have been have worked on an isolation system for this series, and um, it's quite clever, really. They 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 haven't gone for sort of the total iso isolation of say a Townsend system, which involves quite soft springs that compress a lot. They've um, picked an optimal point to isolate whilst maintaining sort of stiffness in the sort of support system so it doesn't flop about in the way that a, a sort of really heavily isolating system is does, which makes it more practical for most situations and easier to implement on a um, sort of the sort of scale you need for this base. The um, 26i, like all the 25 series, has a single pair of uh, cable terminals. Um, and these are fixed into a stainless steel backplate because um, Again, the engineers at PMC discovered that the material that the plate which the connectors are uh, fixed to, which is, is also the place where the crossover is fixed, you know, the crossover is on the inside of the plate, the terminals are on the outside. And um, they discovered if you can get rid of any sort of magnetic influence from that back plate, uh, the crossover works better the results are less distorted, less coloured, and um, this is implemented on all the uh, contemporary PMC designs now. Single wire connections have been becoming more and more popular, even with sort of higher end models like this for some time now. The benefits of bi-wiring are to an extent offset by uh, I don't think we'll go for that. We'll leave that bit out. The uh, 25 26i is available in a range of finishes. There are two veneer finishes, walnut and um, oak. Uh, there's the matte white you see here, and if you pay a bit more, you can have a gloss black, a piano black type finish. The price of this speaker is £9,985 now. At launch, it was quite a bit less, but that was two years ago, and we've had serious uh, supply side price increases uh, across the board, as you have no doubt seen elsewhere. Well, 
I think the reason for re reviewing this model is that it's the sort of biggest in its range, which is essentially the core PMC range. Um, and the isolation system definitely marks it out because thus far um, the fact models do not have that and um, it really is something we think is a great benefit to any loudspeaker to be honest. Um, spikes on their own are often more problematic than uh, nothing at all. Um, they give a certain sound but that's because you're tuning the cabinet to an extent, you're allowing it to vibrate at uh, some frequencies more than others, um, which although it has quite, can be quite attractive, it is a form of coloration. It's probably worth mentioning the um, laminaire vents at the front of the transmission line that you see. This is sort of formed of um, sort of a turbulence control, it's a turbulence control system which originally uh, derived from Formula One. Um, Ollie Thomas, the uh, sort of head of engineering at PMC, worked in Formula One before he came back to the family firm, so to speak. And obviously turbulence is a major issue in that field, but it is equally important with uh, audio, especially when you're using the output from the end of the transmission line to produce bass. That's basically you don't want any turbulence at that point and um, that's what the laminaire system was designed to achieve. Mm -hmm.